Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Friday Night Soccer on Corby TV. We've got some exciting soccer coming your way from Man Cave Stadium, home of the Foxwood Reds, who will be taking on West Hampton United. Stay tuned because soccer is coming up next. Yeah. Ah! A triangle solo? Surprising. What's not surprising? How much money Sam and Joanna saved by switching to Geico. Ow! 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Nothing comes before coffee. That's why we're introducing a whole new line of espresso drinks from McCafe. Cafe quality from beans to espresso machines. Are you even listening? Wait, you want to get you want to get you want to get Today's match is sponsored by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. By Bimbo, proud baker of Thomas and Sara Lee English muffins and bread. And by Toyota, tested, trusted Toyota. Let's go places. Welcome back. We are minutes away from kickoff now, but first let's take a look at our player profile with Michael from West Hampton United. Michael is making his debut for West Hampton United. Drafted as a second overall pick in this year's draft, Michael is looking to make an immediate contribution to the team and is hoping to lead them to their first win. Today's match features two of the biggest rivals in the Timbercrest Soccer League. Both of these teams are favorites to compete for the Timbercrest Cup this November, and neither are going to want to lose in Week 1. Let's take it down to the field now as we begin the 2017 Timbercrest Soccer League season. Michael starting off with the ball now. Starting in the middle of the pitch. Moving to the far side. Tries to get that one past Anthony, but Anthony, a great defensive move there to take it away. Off the wall, almost goes out of bounds. Off the backstop, and he comes in now. Kicks it off of the back wall, and Anthony already gets on the board. 25 seconds in, and Foxwood has taken a 1-0 lead. Just moves into the corner. Michael thought he was going to shoot it. Anthony cuts in off his left foot, non-dominant foot, and in. And now Michael has to equalize this already down 1-0 early on. Michael looking around, trying to find the way past, moves to the left side. Over to the corner, now takes a shot, and that one gets past Anthony somehow, and it is one to one. As quickly as Anthony scores a goal for Foxwood, Michael responds, and now it is equalized for the first time. One to one. Anthony has the ball for Foxwood. Moves to the far side again. Into the corner off the wall. Same trick he did last time. And that one goes in two for two. Using that back wall to help him. And now Foxwood has the lead again. Michael with the ball now. Moves to the far side. Going back towards the corner. Now to the corner again. Cuts back. Moves over. Takes a shot. And that one is in. And it is 2-2. Two two, equalized again. 
And we saw this when Michael was in college, his ability to equalize as quick as the opposing team scored a goal just cuts back. Anthony expected it, didn't expect the shot that soon though. Expected him to move farther in. And now it is two to two. Anthony gets past Michael quickly and that is three to two now. An intense game of scoring, not a lot of defensive effort, just cuts this one off the wall down the far side and just buries it. Three to two. Three minutes in now, we got two minutes until stoppage time. Michael, far side, kicks that one in the middle but cannot regroup and get the ball and Anthony takes it away but kicks it out of bounds off the backstop. Or off of the uh, near wall. Michael tries the left side. Anthony takes it away again. As a second steal from Ant or third steal from Anthony today. Anthony on side gets the ball, but completely whiffs on it. He had a great chance there and just blew it. Michael takes it out again. Over on the far side, takes a shot. I believe that was a shot. Maybe not. Regardless, it is in. Three times West Hampton has trailed today, and three times they responded. Just gets that one right past Anthony. Didn't even need a real shot to bury that. I don't believe he was trying to shoot it. Anthony quickly gets through, and it is four to three now. Gets past Michael for the quick goal, and Foxwood has the lead again. Gets this one past Michael's far side, and then it's just a foot race from there, and he just buries it. Great strategy used from Anthony to give Foxwood the lead again. Michael on the far side now, but he is in the corner. That one goes out, and let's see whose ball it is. Anthony's calling for it. Yes, it will be awarded to Anthony. He takes it out. Moments away from stoppage time now. Moves to the far side. Michael trying to take it away and succeeds. Moving into the corner. Back to the middle. Anthony blocks that one. Not taken away though. Michael retains possession. Michael. Moving up. Cannot get too far. One minute, one minute of stoppage time is called. Michael has one minute to equalize. Anthony taking it away again. Anthony moving in. Anthony off the far wall. Anthony shot, and it is five to three. And that might have just put this one away. Michael with a quick restart. We don't have time for a replay on that one. Michael takes a shot, and it goes off the side of the net and wide. Anthony gets it off the rebound, but Michael takes it away. Michael, top of the screen, moves to the right side, into the corner, kicks this one down, Anthony kicks it away, and that one is in, but Anthony is calling for a handball there, let's see, was that a handball, and, ooh, I believe that was a handball, yep, they are not going to allow it. Five to three, still. Anthony, near side. Now to the far side. Take Michael trying to take it away again, and he does, but he kicks it over, and that is full time. And the Foxwood Reds off to a 1-0 start to the season. Today's game came down to the wire, but Anthony barely managed to squeak in a win for the Foxwood Reds. Let's take it down to Mike now, who is standing on board with him in the tunnel. Mike? Thanks, Tony. Now, Anthony, how do you feel about that great game you played? Uh, you know, I was just trying my best to win, um, and it was a pretty close game, but I'm glad I came out on top. Thanks, Anthony. Back to you, Tony. Thanks, Mike. Well, today's game sure was exciting. It was a real thriller to the end, and we hope the next match between these two teams is just as exciting. 
Thank you for watching this edition of Friday Night Soccer on Corby TV, and we hope to see you next time. Take care.